but volatility was uh, was much higher many years ago than than it is now and uh, uh, you had the amplitude of the swings was was really wild and and that that gave you more opportunity Charlie well it got to be the occasion in corporate finance departments of universities where they developed a notion of risk adjusted returns and my best advice to all of you would be to totally ignore this development. Mm -hmm. Risk had a very good colloquial meaning, meaning a substantial chance that something would go horribly wrong. And the finance professors sort of got volatility mixed up with a lot of foolish mathematics. And, and uh, to me, it's less rational than what we do. And I don't think we're going to change. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, finance departments teach that, 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 that volatility uh, equals risk. Now, they want to they measure risk, and they don't know any other way. They don't know how to do it, basically. And so they, uh, they say that volatility measures risk. And, you know, they, uh, I've, I've always, often used the example that the Washington Post stock, when we first bought it, had gone, in 1973, had gone down almost 50 percent uh, from a valuation of the whole company of close to um, say 180 or 175 million down to maybe 80 million or 90 million and because it happened very fast the beta of the stock had actually increased and a, a professor would have told you that the stock the company was more risky if you bought it for 80 million than if you bought it for 170 million which is something that I've thought about ever since they told me that 25 years ago and I still haven't figured it out <laughs> um, incidentally I should make uh, uh, make an announcement on that because I think that uh, I, I've, I've uh, made a certain amount of fun of, of finance departments over the years. The, uh, a fellow named Mason Hawkins who runs Southeastern Asset Management just gave a, a million dollar gift to the University of Florida and, and the state of Florida is matching that with 750000 so this million seven fifty is going to be used to have several courses in, in what essentially is the Graham approach uh, to investing, I think, starting very soon, so that there will be at least, and there are more than this, but there, there will be a finance department, in this case specifically devoted uh, to uh, teaching the, uh, the uh, Graham approach. And, and I think they're even going to pick up on my suggestion that I stuck in the annual report about having a course on how to value a business and, and, and uh, what your attitude toward the stock market uh, should be. Uh, so thanks to Mason, uh, uh, who's done very well managing money, I should add. And uh, uh, there will be a uh, uh, at least one university course that, uh, that tackles uh, what I think are the important uh, questions in investing.